Yo, Philly 254 living life. Back at it. Now, I recently did a video on a Decky plugin that basically showed you how to, well, showed you what settings worked best for your uh, Steam Deck games or your games on your Steam Deck. And I mentioned that uh, I personally do like Proton DB, but it was nice to have that plugin. It didn't use Proton DB as any of its, so, any of its sources. Well, after I made the video and everything, posted it, I realized that Decky does have a Proton DB, an actual Proton DB plugin. So that's what we're gonna talk about: how to install it, how to get it, how to see the what the settings you need to see and navigate it and whatnot. So let's get into it. So the plugin is called Proton DB Badges. Press your quick settings button as always to get to it. Go down to the Decky plugin icon and go to the Decky store. And as always, you do have to have the actual Decky plugin itself installed. So do a quick search or a browse for Proton DB badges. Once you're in that store, click that install button. Of course, I'm not gonna click it because I already have it. You know what? So once you install, you're in there like swimwear. All right. So you're gonna put, press your little button again. Go down to Proton DB badges. You can see the settings it has. It's the size of the badges, the badge position where it's gonna be located, and then of course you can clear the cache if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to. So once you do that, now you got to see how you get to it. It's real easy. Choose a game, any game, doesn't matter. Uh, you can go. I'm gonna go to Dead by Daylight since that was recently showed. You see the little badge on the top left of mine it says Silver. All right. Click on it, and here's the one thing. It'll take you pretty basically to the Proton DB website in a way. It looks like it's formatted for the Steam Deck. FYI, as I was gonna say, you will have to actually scroll using the actual touchscreen of the Steam Deck, not the, the pads or anything. So there you can see what people did to get it to work. You can see what actually does it doesn't work. You can see whether it just works fl flat out easy, whatever, works out perfect. Idle Showdown, same thing. Click on the little button, go down, and again, you can see what everyone, the review of how well it works, of course, what they did to get it to work if, if they had to do anything and they take it from there real easy real simple me i am a proton db person i do enjoy proton db now the other the other uh plug-in is definitely useful because it does kind of just give you just straight technical information um it's kind of just which how you want to how you want to take it you know i enjoy proton db i just i've always been using it so it's my own preference but ultimately it's up to whatever you want to do and how you want to do it whichever one you feel comfortable with me, like I said a minute ago, I enjoy Proton DB. I've always enjoyed Proton DB. I like using it to kind of just see a full breakdown of what someone did, you know, what worked, different different trials they tried, different, uh, I guess, Proton versions and whatnot. They tried to make a game work and whatnot. The other one is really just cut and dry, kind of let you know exactly what works best, what's been recommended by the community, should I say, and it's right there in your face. I do enjoy that Proton DB is the, in order to look for each, I guess, game or I guess each page for each game. It's built into the normal way you would browse your games on your Steam Deck. Just click the game like you normally would, and you can see that little badge right there. You click the badge, and then you're in there. Um, there's no real menu, separate menu. You got to search for your games or whatnot. So I, I, I totally enjoy that part about it. Um, I don't like the fact that it's touch screen only. It took me a second at first. At first, when I first did, I was like, well, how do I make the page go up and down and move? And then I figured out, oh, it's all touchscreen, you know? So that's, you know, once you're used to it, it is, it is what it is. But anyway, oh, by the way, I will put or uh, post a little video that I had detailing Proton DB more in detail. So that'll, I'll post that here in the end. So don't worry about it if you're just curious about Proton DB in itself. If you like more Steam Deck news, walkthroughs, gameplay lives tutorials if i could subscribe cruise through the playlist and i'm out